Hello and good afternoon everybody. Um, this is a new thing for me I suppose, rather than just a generic video that describes what I'm doing at the time as a generic update or anything involving my political views and that sort of thing. Uh, this is much more specific because I watched a video recently from a woman from Quebec, of a woman from Quebec, describing her particular interests about living in an eco-village or intentional community. Um, so I realize that we're going to need more people than uh, necessarily I have at my disposal immediately. Uh, right now I've got two volunteers, possibly three, who will who would be living there now if we had housing for them now. We don't, so they're not, and we're working on that. But, um, in the interest to do some community outreach, I suppose, um, one of our volunteers has already taken the, the torch to watch videos like this particular woman's, and uh, to do a first-person screening, a first-stage screening, so that every initiative, every... Um, every case where a person says, I want to live in such a place, do these really exist, type of thing, Karen will find them, send them to me, and I will review them. If I think this particular individual has merit, I will post a link to this video as a response to this particular person's um, video. So, now you know the why, here's the what. Tirtangura Eco Village. Tir Tornguira is a Intentional community built in Western Newfoundland, uh, and the goal is the goal originally was for it to be vegan, but we'll simply have a limited diet of meat. So uh, the <coughs> real crux of it is we are going to live entirely off grid, with the minor exception of having access to high speed internet. That is required because we're going to be selling a lot of our wares online. So. Um, the first construction begins in about two weeks. We break ground in the small town of St. David's, Newfoundland, which is in the Bay St. George uh, vicinity, just south of Stephenville on the west coast, which entirely is on the east coast of Canada. No problem. Um, it's where I grew up. It is, in fact, about 200 meters, 200 yards, from the cottage, the cabin, the home, where I was raised. So I'm going to be building an earth ship out there this summer, and if all goes to plan, the project and some of the volunteers might actually be purchasing another 8 or 10 acres across the street to this large block of land that might actually be for sale for the right price. And hopefully, we'll be building some houses over there, too. So the first stage of the Tir Torungira Eco Village will be a small settlement, something possibly temporary, in St. David's. Now, two towns over, so to speak, in the town of St. Fintons, is where I own 44 acres, which is heavily, heavily forested and has a relatively high water table. So that's where stage two will begin. Stage one, this year, will be me building that Earth ship. Uh, look it up, it's by Michael Reynolds in Taos, New Mexico. Solar Survival Architecture, I think is the name of his website. Um, but I'll be building a modified version of that out of cordwood. We will be using a drill well for our water supply. We will be using composting toilets for our sewage. And the gray water will pour directly into gardens that are based primarily on Hugel culture, raised bed design. Um, we will rely on passive solar, which is less convenient than I'd like because the only side of the hill we own is north, northeast, not 30 degrees due of south, which is inconvenient, but that's okay. Um, additionally, we will use solar electricity and no additional sources of electricity, um, and so on and so on. The composting toilets, the humanure composting toilets, will be sawdust assisted and used in our non-tube vegetable beds. So you should never ever use humanure on 
directly on food that you should eat. So we'll be using it for our tree base. Um, Karen was kind enough to purchase the plans for a sawmill. Uh, those were purchased from woodgears.ca, Matthias Walden. Excellent, excellent product. Uh, great website. Please, please check it out. He's been an inspiration to the, to the mission and knows how to plug. He's not paying me or anything. Uh, excellent, excellent man and a very, very talented engineer slash carpenter. His plans will make my life very, very easy. Um, anyone who wants to get involved in the project in any way uh, is more than welcome to, I want to say apply, but that isn't really the case, to get involved, to communicate with me. Right now, online is the easiest way, and as time comes, we'll be able to involve people more thoroughly. But, as I said, this is a video response to anyone who has a cry out, a um, appeal to the world in the interest of finding such a place. Such a place does exist. There are many, as this particular woman mentioned in in Quebec, there are many, uh, uh, quite a few, in BC, there's a few in Ontario, all across the prairies. Newfoundland, though, has a very different climate than anywhere else in Canada, possibly anywhere else in the world. Though. I originally wanted to go vegan. We're going to be using chickens and rabbits initially, possibly goats in the years to come, to supplement our diet. Because true veganism is very difficult to do alone without the assistance of fortified foods and things. So going completely all-natural, self-sustaining, vegan is not actually a very effective way to get your complete diet. And I know I'll get flamed for that, but that's okay. The evidence speaks to the, to the contrary. Um, so that's okay. The uh, anyone who wants to get involved can drop by the website currently under construction at www.ecovillage.lorecaster.com. That link will be in the video. Uh, so I would very much appreciate anyone who wants to get involved. Drop me a line, drop by the website, or drop by my channel. It's user slash Robin Goss, and uh, you'll see my uh, earlier videos regarding when I ran for the Federal Green Party in Canada. Uh, proof of my mettle, I suppose, and my interest. Uh, so, this, this video is running longer than I thought, but to all of you who want to live a better, cleaner, safer life with a lower carbon footprint and less chemical intervention, cheers to you. And uh, I definitely endorse your search for all things better. If I didn't, I wouldn't have spent the past 10 years, 40% of my life, devoted to the same goal as you. So, if you think that um, my project is in line with your goals, please feel free to drop me a line. Um, hopefully I won't bore you too much. I tend to be a little bit preachy or so I'm told. But my heart's in the right place. So, to all of you who uh, think alike, solidarity to you, and I'm looking forward to hearing from you in the future. <laughs> One last thing. I promise these videos will indeed get better. Uh, I'm in the process of figuring out this new tool for video editing. I'm a Linux user, not Windows, personally, Ubuntu, all the way. So I'm trying to figure out how to make a really slick, clean video. I'm working on it. With exams coming up, I've got those other school priority things. So bear in mind, bear with me, they will improve. I want them to look nice and professional, professional and snappy, and uh, we'll see. Thanks.